Hey friends, hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Thank you for joining me for the daily devotional of Selah. Um, I have so enjoyed this journey with you. It, I hope it's just been invigorating to your walk and renewing your mind, not being conformed to this world, but being transformed as we renew our minds together in the word of truth. Okay, so this one is day 24, page 32, and it's cancel my pedicure. Okay, so yeah, I had some fun with the titles. I had to use my creative muscles on these titles, but you'll understand when we get to it. Okay, Peter said to him, never shall you wash my feet. Jesus answered him, if I do not wash you, you have no place with me. John 13, 8. Oh my goodness. Do you ever follow Jesus until he wants to cleanse a part of your life and then you start feeling really, really uncomfortable? Yeah. He all he deals with us in layers. Me too, right? And so we've all crossed that juncture, but there may be an area where he's like, hey, I want to cleanse you of this. And you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't get near me. Okay. The dust of this world can cling on you and accumulate in disgusting proportions. Yes, just walking through life. Yes. Sometimes it looks like daily demands. Yeah, daily demands your task list, especially this time of year. Opinions of others or the grit and grime of calendar crunch time. Walking with Jesus is wonderful until you realize you cannot go any further. When you are exhausted, the enemy wants you to keep chug-a-lugging on fumes. Anybody chugging a lugging out there, just going at your own self-reliant pace, just I can do it, I can do it, but you're really on fumes. Peter, in his religious pride, protested his need for a savior. Letting Jesus wash your feet helps to distinguish where your power ends and his begins. When serving looks more like blood, sweat, and tears rather than fear of the Lord obedience, you might need a good foot washing. Not that serving is not good, but hey, we all need some refreshing, right? When you sit down and let Jesus wash your feet, you realize that apart from him, you can do nothing. Sweet communion with your Savior always results in beautiful boundaries. What is that putrid smell? Hmm. It may be coming from your feet. Say la. Take time today. Let Jesus wash your feet from the grime that comes with time. And hope y'all have a great day.